What's going on guys, Kegel here. Hey, I'm just doing a quick video on uh, some questions that were asked on some forums and not a lot of people get a lot of, um, a lot of answers. Um, the question was, is what are the runner flaps? Now this is the stock um, in-tank manifold for uh, 2.0 turbo TSI motor. Um, as you can see, it is all plastic. There's no metal on the inside. Um, these are considered the runners on the intake manifold and on the inside here there are flaps on each runner now this side here is a flapper motor and there's a, a switch that um, gets electrical signal from the ECU it routes air through the motor and then then turns the flaps now uh, Obviously when you're sitting idle, the flaps are just about closed. That's as far down as they go. And whenever you accelerate, the flaps open depending on how much acceleration you're pushing through to the motor. They do sell aftermarket um, kits to actually remove these. And there's just little, you, you just pull these out, pull the flaps out, and there's just little plugs that go back on the inside. Um, so that is just what the runner flaps are. They call it a runner flap, runner flap delete kit. So you just, you know, they just pretty much get rid of these flaps. Now the uh, intake manifold I'm installing does not have flaps on it. So I don't have to worry about getting a delete kit. However, it does trip a check engine light for, uh, this is a, cr a um, flap position sensor. So if for some, and in, in the, the plug isn't connected, I just kind of have it tied back. And because the ECU is not getting um, a good signal from the position sensor so it thinks that the flaps are all jacked up so of course I gotta check, check engine line for that uh, but when I when I get my Eurodyne software in I'll be um, coding that out so it won't trip fault along with a couple other things that issue but just want to show you a quick video of what that was the runner flaps and the runner flap delete kit and uh, what the purpose of these were so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned